All right, we're ready to begin with head coach Bruce Weber from Kansas State. Coach, welcome, and your thoughts about the upcoming season. Well, I've said all since last spring uh, that uh, getting in the NCAA tournament and, and winning a game was great for our program. It was, uh, it was a nice reward for our seniors. But I think more than anything, it was a, a great motivator for our, our younger guys to have a taste of that. And uh, we've had a, you know, a very good off season. Uh, they, they've come to work. They uh, great leadership. Even though we really don't have, we have one walk on senior. We don't have any seniors on scholarship. But that that junior group, uh, the three guys that are here today, Barry Brown and Kamal Stokes and Dean Wade, have done a great job of leading and. Uh, pushing our guys and, and being great examples. And uh, it, it's been fun to coach. It's, it's been a, it's a good group. We have bodies. We've had a lot of injuries the last few years and uh, fans, sports writers know it. They don't, people don't care about it until you're, as a coach, you're involved with it. And you only have eight guys at practice and you can't get much done. And uh, you know, this year, uh, we, right now, we'll, with walk-ons, we'll have 15, 16 guys, and you know, you get to, you really get to go at it and practice, which it makes it much more fun for the coaches. Uh, I think it's going to help our level of uh, competitive spirit, and and I, I really am excited about our group. Okay, we'll take questions for coach. If you'll put your hand up, we'll get the microphone to you, and if you will again, please give your name and your affiliation. Well, we got a question over on the left-hand side about halfway back. Yeah, John Kurtz with KMAN. Uh, Barry said a few weeks ago it feels like this is becoming his team. Do you feel like that's a, a fair statement? Yeah, he's he, and I don't. He watched West last year. Uh, Wandu kind of take over the team, and 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 they were kind of boys. They hung out a lot, and and Barry just saw how important it was to have somebody. Uh, be the verbal leader, be the, you know, not the example, but also say the right things and be the motivator. And, you know, at start of practice, Barry's talking, end of practice, he's talking, in the locker room, he's talking, he's in the gym as much as anybody. And uh, he, he's kind of relished that role, uh, which is, it's, as a coach, it's good to have somebody that will be verbal like that. It definitely helps us. Got a question on the aisle right up here on the right hand side. Uh, Sam Mellinger with the Kansas City Star. Bruce, did you have a reaction when you saw you were picked eighth by the coaches? I, you know, it doesn't bother me. I, you know, I, I hey, we got to do what we have to do. And I, I feel good about our team. You know, a lot of times, whether it's coaches, media, whoever, they just go by stats and, you know, who had, did what last year. And, and a lot of times, not only stats, but where people ended up, uh, you know, in, in the standings. So it, you know, we we can use a little bit of it as a motivation. Uh, we we talked about it even back in the summer when some of the stuff started coming out. You know, but all we have to do we have to be prepared and come to work and and take care of business. And I think we'll be fine. Questions for coach. This is a rare opportunity on the aisle. Just a moment. We'll get a microphone to you. Kevin asking to be a capital drone. Bruce, kind of where do you think you're going to get rebounding this year and how much of a concern is that? And, and also how much of a concern is it pertaining to Dean Wade? Uh, it, there is no doubt that's the number one emphasis I've made since the spring. If you look at our stats from the past few years, we've lost our leading rebounders. And, and you know, from Justin Edwards, Wesley Wandu, uh, DJ Johnson, uh, and it, it's it's a concern. And, and Saturday, when we played the exhibition game against Missouri State, who is a very good rebounding team, a team that goes after, I thought it was good for us. We we had some trouble at times. So it's uh, it's you know I, I think it was good for our guys to go. Now all the things we've talked about, the blockout, five guys getting to the glass, defensive glass, having people hit the offensive glass, it, it all the things we've talked about, it's backed up in that game. We have it on film. Uh, it, it, now when they, we go through it in practice and drills, they'll take it more seriously. Uh, but you know, I, Dean's got to become, he's, he should be, he had seven the other day in 20, 20 minutes. 
Uh, you know, I think it should be a goal of him to, if, to be a double-digit rebounder. I think that would be a positive. I think he's capable of it. Uh, he's, his physic, physicality, his strength, his jumping, his athleticism is greatly improved. Uh, but we have to get some out of the, the other guys. Uh, the guard's got to be rebounders. Coach Fraser, uh, when he played for me at Illinois, he was our point guard. He was our second leading rebounder, and he's really talked to our, our guys about that, that uh, have a nose for the ball. Barry could be, you know, he's big time on the steals, uh, one of the leaders in the country, in the league. Uh, he could also do the same thing on the defensive glass if he, with good activity. But it's something we're addressing, and hope, I hope it doesn't become a factor of us becoming really a good team. Got a question on the aisle towards the right rear. Bruce Wendell Barnhouse, the field house. The the, you mentioned the exhibition game, and it was against another D1 team. When you play exhibitions, they're usually against lower level. How much did you get out of that? And the fact that a lot of people are talking about this is a good thing that college basketball is doing things for charity. And would you like the NCAA to give teams an option, maybe instead of the secret scrimmages, to actually do a, you know, an exhibition game where it's for charity, something like that? I actually just said something to Coach Self about it. I, you know, obviously they had a game here and unbelievable success and you know, raising nearly $2 million for a, for a great cause. Uh, we didn't have quite the amount of money, but it was, it was one, it was a good game for us. It, it, we played a team that's uh, one of the favorites in the Missouri Valley. Uh, they have a lot of seniors. Um, our guys, uh, we had to come to play. I, I also appreciated Coach Luss. We played everybody. You know, we, we kept our, even, you know, we made sure the 8 through 13 got to play against each other. And, and, uh, you know, I thought our minutes were good. And yet we were competing, trying to play. I, the other thing I brought up to Bill was now with 30 days of practice over that six-week period, I think it's a, it would be a good thing. I, I actually proposed it to the, to the Big Ten several years ago to have, I know it's important for the Division II guys to have the opportunity to play us, and I appreciate that, but to have either the close scrimmage against the Division I or to now to have an exhibition game and do some good out of it, uh, I think it would be a positive thing. There's no doubt about it. So it was good basketball-wise. I, you know, hopefully raise some money and help some people out, and I hope it's something they look at. We got time for one more question for Coach. Anybody got the final question? Well, Coach, they're going to let you off easy. All right. Thank have a great you. Great season.